Hey everyone, what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. Welcome to another video on our Happy Series. In the previous video you have seen how to render and reply views. And obviously there are situations where you want to send JSON data instead of rendered HTML. And this is what you will learn within this video. How to reply or how to respond JSON instead of HTML data. Before we go into the details, you can find the tutorial and the code snippets for easy copy and pasting on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. Alright, I've prepared a small sample project importing Happy and creating a local server that listens on local hosts with port 3000. What we want to achieve is to respond the request having the JSON data as a, re as a response payload. So obviously to do that we need a route and we need to add that with server.route and pass the configuration. Okay, so the incoming request needs to be processed so you can do whatever you want. And ultimately what you want to return is a data object that should, that should be valid JSON ultimately. So actually happy got your back. So you just need to provide the data object to the reply interface and everything else is done for you. If you need to intercept the response status code, there's a previous video, you should watch that. And you just a small heads up, you can do that with having the code object and maybe you created something new and you can you need to pass the data back to the client. And you want to say that it's just that the data was just created, you can indicate it by the status code 201. Alright, so back to topic. If you want to reply an, an object or a valid JSON object, you can just go ahead and have it like or create your data like this. Different data formats. And Maybe there you have the idea, what if I provide a, a function or what if I have virtual fields on my, on my model that I'm going to reply and let's go ahead and add a function like, like this. So it's a function, no, you can, you can just do it like this. Okay, so let's check out what is returned using this data object. You kind of expect that the function should be kicked out because we, how should a function be represented in JSON? But yeah, we can, let's check that with the Postman tool. It's a great tool to send requests to a local server or test APIs or integration. Check it out, it's called Postman. So at first I need to start the Node.js project, the Node server. I will do that with supervisor so I don't have to worry about any changes and restarting the server in the background. Okay. What we want is sending a request to localhost on port 3000 to the root path because that's where the route is listening. And well, you can see Happy does the correct conversion for the date, for the JavaScript object and you will receive valid JSON and response. The status code is 200 and okay. So if you want to intercept the status code like this one, because it just got created. You can, let's add another field like my age. So you can see Happy just added or changed the status code to 201, added the additional fields that we've added and kicked out the function totally. So actually let's review what you have learned in this video. Instead of replying any rendered view or sending a response with a different data format, you can respond <coughs> JSON data for incoming request by just using the reply interface and passing a valid JavaScript object to the, to the function. And because you will get or happy creates a valid response object, you can, you can chain any further data to customize the response, like the status code. And yeah, you don't have to worry about any conversion from JavaScript to JSON. It's all done for you and happy get the functionality integrated already. Okay, I hope you liked this video and if you want to watch more videos on happy and Node.js in general, follow this channel, click subscribe 
and hopefully we see you again. We truly appreciate you being around. So have a nice week, enjoy coding and make it rock. Thank you.